Hey guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Back out this afternoon with Zach and Jake, and we're checking crab pots we set yesterday. Undersized buck. Little buck. He's a nice rusty buck though. Just slide him in. Nah, bad, old baits, yeah, no good man. Fresh baits, best bait. Three? Yep. I don't know much about crabbing, but what I do know. <clears throat> It's not much. Is the <laughs> That's right, fresh bait is the king. What do you like, Jake? Fishing. Oh, you're gonna say big rusty bucks. <laughs> big rusty bucks. Yeah, yeah, like big rusty bucks. Come on! No, a lot of girls. A lot of girls. A few ladies in that one. Stick your finger in there and grab it. Just pull them out of the one. Just flick them off, they'll let go. Yeah, yeah, it's hanging out of the water, they let go. Yeah, they just hold on for a second, like they're just gentle just to get lifted out. That's it. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I was going then. Look at this. No. Little females. Lucky that grab rail. <laughs> and the are awesome, aren't they? You'd be walking through the middle of a lot them, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I like about crabbing? A lot. Little snake going across there. Go over him, Jack. I'll grab him. What is he? Yeah, I'm gonna have a look. What is he? It's awfully black on top. He's a riddle, yeah, a little red belly. Yeah, little, little red belly black. Yeah. Ah, he's coming for us! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Holy shit! Something just jumped out of the water right there. Wasn't a mullet either. Eagle Ray? Look fishy to me. I'm just caught it as I gazed up. Timmy Turtle? <laughs> Where <Where'd> that? <laughs> he didn't get hit by the prop. I no, saw no, him get no. brushed back. But he swam down. He was yeah, coming he for. He was like, "I'll get out of here." Yeah. He thought about it. Then he got 75 horses in the face. <laughs> no, he didn't ask. Did he say permission to come aboard? <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> he copped it. Well, he was being cheeky. He, was he copped it. Sweet. Yeah, you want a mullet? Didn't even have a life jacket. So you always got to keep your wits about you in the water, eh, Jake? Well, you never know when the red belly blacks trying to come There's on board. Red belly blacks, man, they're dangerous. I can feel it. My crabby senses are tingling. <laughs> what the hell? Another Jenny? Brick and the baby Jenny, mate. Brick probably tastes nicer. Jeez, we're good at this crabbing game, eh? Got some weight. Come on. Another Jenny and another Jenny. Goodness me. They're offering their claws. Do you see that? Oh, take these. Take these. <laughs> Those girls were cooperating. I'll tell you what, the one buck that is in here, he is going to gangbang, isn't he? He's going to have <laughs> his choice. <laughs> <laughs> you can have some head, man. Um. What should we do? Should we set these somewhere or we're running out of room? Yeah, well, we'll have and see if there's. We'll see what it's like inside here. If we end up getting a crab or two, maybe we'll put the rest of them. Yeah. Now, nah, I'll show you how it's done, Zach. You got to do the magic bloody hoodoo. It's the crab walking. You got to walk them in there. Here we go. Here we go. Here's some crab. I can feel them. Four Jennies. <laughs> Not one legal buck in there though. No? All right, eliminate. Little buck. Little buck. That's a girl. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You wanted crabs on the floor. <laughs> we'll take these up then, eh? Well, you don't want to have to go up more. To get them. Or move them up the system or. I'll give us a look at that big one, Jake. Big one. 
pretty much like out of the right. Do the old hang over the side. That's a Shows that big That's what a male crab looks like. Yeah. It's got to be a lot bigger. It's just real tiny. Yeah. Couldn't even get the hole in one, Zach. Nothing but net. It looked very large and. Red neck on it. Yeah. Where's the bow? You can't bow hunt feathered animals, Jake. I didn't see any feathers, they look like scales. Uh. Low-flying Archaeopteryx. It was an Archaeopteryx. I was just going to say it's an Archaeopteryx. They've got feathers, so you can't say that. It's going to say the first feathered bloody dinosaur. Bird, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. First oh, feathered yeah. dino. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Similar to koala. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, he probably bloody has. <laughs> what a joke. Yeah, Baffle Creek crabbing. It's good crabbing. They tells me there's Vietnam's good shrimping. There's shrimp all in these waters. That's some good crabbing. You having a pool, Jake? Well, since you want me to do it so much and get the camera. But we'll watch Jake have a pool here. Yeah, they're good pots. <laughs> And a lot more Jennies. And undersized bucks. What a surprise. Mm, something different. Some good mm. crabbing up here at Baffle Creek. Get rid of that, chuck two more heads in. Oh no, that cod's got a crab claw clamped to it. <laughs> it dropped its claw. Awesome earring, they love it. Oh no. Well, I'll tell you what, this is better. <laughs> Better be the one. Fruitless pulling. Ah, missed it. Missed the opportunity. Come on. Got to be one they've missed. Very fifty crabbers around here. Yeah, we'll just see what we look, see what we see when we go around that next corner. The way we're heading to fish. Right. Might see something of interest. Stand there and hold that, bro. That's a good stack. It is. It's a tough game, you know. It looks harder when you're watching it. I was hoping you guys would pull better than I did. Oh, well, it was my first time in front of you guys, so you know. Yeah, heavy stage fright. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's a few fish there, a few arches on the bottom there. Finally found some fish up here, way up here. Right up the creek. Oh, look at them there. <laughs> up on the dance floor. Oh, no, All right. So we finally found some fish. We got five meters all the way back through here. Just gonna fish sob vibes. Blech. Did I say sob vibes? <laughs> so we finally found some good water. Five, six meters all through here and there's fish stacked up. Some good archers down there, heap of bait. Just gonna throw some soft vibes. Here we go, boys. Check your drags. Whoa, that's way tight for open water, soft vibing. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they are. Can someone please catch one? The biggest shows were definitely towards the bottom end of the run. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Zach. Cod? Oh, I'll be a cod. Hey, you said? Yeah, well, you don't have to get out of the boat and push. That's true. Yeah, it's a good cod, though, to be fair. <laughs> That's one of the better quality specimens we've seen this trip. Indeed, indeed. You can put it in the boat like that. How many casts do you reckon you made since we stopped? Four or five. Oh, I've made one. <laughs> oh, it's just perfect, man. It's a mad drift. Yeah, yeah I've, just, I've just got it out in front, right on the bottom. Small hops. What do you got? Good fish? No. Oh. 
fish. Hey, he's playing up a little more than a cod would, wouldn't he? Oh, Flatty. Flatty. Nice. Tasty. Nice, yeah. Flatty. Flatfish. Oh, watch your toes. Nice little lizard. Yeah, nice flat skull. I'm a little vibe. Not the arches we're seeing, but. Yeah, they're all mid water, eh? That's, That's good. Three and a half, four meters, six schools. Not the arches, arches, but just schools up on top, and there's stuff on the bottom. Eh? To be fair, I was not expecting <laughs> the first decent thing to be a flathead. <laughs> Remember when we were at Baffle Bob's and we got them to cook up all our fillets for us? Well, I didn't know. He said, oh, when did you bring those fillets up when you finish with those flathead? And I went, like, okay. And then 20 minutes he comes over that big batter. Yeah. Put the chips and I'm like, dude, you're a man. Oh, I'm going to have to recast. I think I've picked, I oh, know, got rid of it. Picked up a leaf or something. I keep looking back to see my sounder, like I'm used to being in my boat. And I turn the sound, yeah, I'm like. Yeah, they got to be, that's, that's tarping through the, that. 100% tarp on at that depth. Yeah, it'd be interesting if you see individuals now. Did it convert the image? Yeah, I have. Converted into dust. Oh, yeah, it's just heaps of little stuff, yeah. If they are barra down there, this is typical barra bullshit. I don't want to play the game until that bite window's right. Yeah, we were all quite confident when we stopped. But yeah. Zach got more fish here than he's caught all day. What are you moving for? <laughs> Tri <laughs> tripped it again. <laughs> Drifted again, he reckons. <laughs> oh, we got another flat skull. I want to see if we see this shit going back up through it again. All right, we've come up as far as we're going to fish today. Just going back to that weedless rigged three inch gulp shrimp. Probably get some estuary cod. Yep, he ate it. It's a cod. I oh, know. Cooter. Pike. Pike. Cooter. Bird bait. Bird bait. You can keep that one. It's a dirty little barracuda. Just move that nose out of it. That's not a barracuda. That's a pike. No way. I will gamble my life on that. It's a dirty little cooter. Look at the coloration. Yeah, it looks like it. It's so similar to that size. I don't know. He's a cooter. I'll back myself in on this one. Get that species identified thing and get the app out. Yeah, I got it right here in my pocket. It's a bloody cooter. Yeah. That's right. Check it in. We'll use crab bait. Ah, they're stinky. Are you really? Yeah, that's why they're good crab bait. Yeah, Great right mackerel for, bait. Mate. Brother, those, mate. those things are fantastic, just mackerel baits. They drag along like a friggin' wet rag. But the mackerel love them. Mm. There you go, little barracuda. Old oh, Barry Barracuda. Stick your finger in that mouth. Call a striped pike, mate, you know it. These old boys, their eyesight questioning my bloody fish identification. Holy hell, I don't have much leader left on that rod. Did I get smoked yesterday or something? Oh, and it's all scuffed up up there. Deadly pike, bro. No! Oh no, that's because the hook's way down. Oh, but that's scuffed up miles high. <coughs> that's a leader change. That's terrible. How did that happen? Mm. I saw this dude talking to his cat the other day. Doing his what? Talking to his cat. Like the cat could understand him. Sure. And I went home and aircraft engineer into retail <laughs> And I went home and told my dogs and we laughed for ages. <laughs> yeah, f <it. laughs>
Told that joke about that geezer that um he looks in. Oh, what was that off of the front there? Talking dog, fifty bucks. What is this? Are you seeing these ripples coming off the front of this? Talking dog, fifty bucks. It rings this guy up. He goes, "What's the sweet? No dog for sale. You can talk. It's fifty bucks." So I'll be around in half an hour. So he goes around to the place. See this guy up front knocks on the door and dog goes, yeah mate, dog's out the back, go and have a look. So he goes out the back and there's the dog sitting on the ground. Like, I don't say anything other than a normal dog. He's like, hello dog. The dog's like, g'day mate, how you doing? And what? I think f***ing does talk. He's like, uh, how are you a talking dog? He's like, oh, I don't know mate, I just f***ing learnt what they said and I've managed to talk and learn it is. He goes, really? He goes, well, what have you done with your life? He goes, oh. You've been to Germany? And he's like, the dog, the dog, he's like, no, I haven't. He goes, oh, mate, you've got to go there. Oktoberfest, oh, the history, the castles, it's fantastic. He's like, oh, really? Goes, yeah, okay. So he's been anywhere. He goes, oh, mate, I've, I've been to Scotland. He says, that's beautiful too, and all this sort of stuff. And he's like, okay, well, we've got plenty to talk about. I'll just go out and pay this guy. And, and we'll I just hard. got hit in there. Fair enough. So he goes out the front and he gives the guy the $50. He goes, mate, this thing's really, really cheap. I don't understand. Why are you getting rid of a talking dog like this? He goes, mate, you've got to understand. He's full of shit. He's never been out of the f***ing country. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously got whacked off the back of that. Yeah. And there's a, there's a cut through the Trevally or Cooter or something in. That's as bad as a big triloquist in New Zealand. You heard that one? I heard that one. He's walking along and he says to the farmer, how you going? The farmer says, yeah, fine, just working. He says, you mind if I talk to your cow? He says, cow don't talk. Anyway, throws his voice, you know, he says, hey, cow, how you going? The cow says, yeah, just chewing some grass. He's like, I've had that cow for 20 years, never spoke to me. He says, you mind if you talk to your horse? He says, horse don't talk. He says, hey, horse, how you going? He says, ah, I'm just pulling the plow. The farmer's like, shit, I didn't know the horse could talk. He's going to talk to your sheep. He says, oh, I don't believe a lion word. I've oh, heard those lion tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Dad said I got rattled again in there. If you believe the bullshit screen, it's, it's showing up with fish. How deep? Oh, it's only one and a half metres. Yeah, I was, I was just dragging sand before. There's got to be an estuary caught in this. Yes, eat that, eat that. Yep. Oh! You know, it doesn't look like a brim. Yeah, brim. Pikey, big black one. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd happily throw that light, just little shit again, but I'm like, nah, we're this far up. This is the bait to draw bigger fish. The gun bait. It's the nibber. You guys must be boaties, yeah? Nah, mate. I don't like fishing in my boat. Yeah. It's like driving around in boats, sitting in boats. Watching sound of his boats. <laughs> this show isn't free. You've got to watch this once it's put up on YouTube. <laughs> you can't watch the live stream. How's this for a joke? Two old blokes sitting in a boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's it. That's it, Jake. Oh, oh, dude. Got him. What is that? Is that a little grunter? Oh, yeah, this little one. grunt, grunt. Scoffing the shrimp. That's it, do it. <laughs> Hey, he's up, buddy. There he is. There he was. Little grunty boy. Barky grunter, bark grunter, cold grunter, gilbert grunter, golf grunter, khaki grunter, lake grunter, leathery grunter, no. Lorenzo grunter, small head grunter, city grunter. Bard, bard javelin fish. Bard grunter or javelin? Nah, bard grunter's a freshwater one. Is Yep. Yeah, they're a javelin fish, technically. No, it's lingo because we they grunt, so we call them. No, definitely not a bar. He's a barred javelin fish. And then there's spotted javelin fish.
Yeah, so you go, yeah, grunty boy. Yeah, because we weren't quite oh, getting them. Go, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> 40, gentlemen, you guys know nothing about your bag limits or your freaking side things. You don't keep them. That's right, what do I have to care? Oh, 26 centimetre millim minimum fillet length. What if you fill it and it only comes in at 25? You gotta put like, it back on. Stick it back on. Filleting offshore and skin on and all that crap's a bit of a, it's another world. Yeah. Oh, he had it. He was swimming, he's got it. Oh, mother. Yeah, oh, slow on the first time he hit it. Not big though, if they're big they crunch it. Still. Oh, yep. Got you, you little bastard. Cod. Uh, yes. Good yeah, cod. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Nice little codly. I think we might be able to safe a bet go and chase those buddy queenies a bit harder. And then go onto the flats. Try for the flat skulls. Yep. Oh, that got rattled and then snagged. Is that a little cod swam me into something? Yep, he's on it. He's, yeah, he's in something. Little dog. I was gonna say, I bloody felt him. He did. Swim out of there, buddy. Ah, oh, he's off. Those netters have gotta be giving this place a flogging then, eh? It'll be those same dogs that did that shit in Burham. They come up from Harvey Bay when they got locked out or they changed stuff and and they just travel north. Yep. Oh, what the? I really suck at fishing. Except for those big queens I got this morning, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at the face scale I got. Oh, he did too. That was a good fish. Damn it. Can't buy a break, Jake. No. See if he's silly enough to still be in there. He's got a mate. This is it, the last 50 metres. Oh, dude. Yep. Oh, Jack, is it? Grunter. Oh, he's all right too. He's all right. That's that face scale I got. Yeah. Him and a couple of his little grunty boy mates in there harassing fish. Yeah, he's all pay that. I'll have to get. Crab bait now. Probably just nearly legal. We'll film him though. It's about 36. 37. Yeah, nice little grunter. Barred javelin fish. Just ate that lightly weighted. Three inch gulp. It's been tough. It has been really tough. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. And annoying. You're an annoying fish. Oh, it's been an enjoyable afternoon, boys. All right, last cast. Oh, look, he ripped it clean off the hook, the dog. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's gonna do that.
Oh, there is a keeper buck. There is too. Sweet. Giddy up. Maybe he's heaps bigger by the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll do. How'd they rip that bait out of that bloody? No idea, but lucky we stopped yeah. to check it. They ripped that out. Look at that brim, mate. He didn't sleep the bass. All right, we better get him out. The crab measure out, boys. We'll just double check these ones. Mm -hmm. Worth a look. And put the measure on him. Don't fight. Put that bait back in there. Yeah, right? bloody earth will. Couple crabs, boys. Giddy up. Couple bucks. What's for dinner now? Slater, <laughs> Slater, Grunter, Slater and Grunter and Crab. And crab. Two little bucks, though. Eh? Yeah. The boys are finally on the move. Buddy crab for dinner, Zach, hey? Hey, we're crabbers. That's pretty shell. Maybe all the boys are like, ah, I'm hanging out. I'm done rooting. <laughs> the done root and retirement home. How is that float washed up in there? Oh, there's a crab. Oh, there's a cod. Oh, there's a good buck. Is he? Oh, no. Nah. That's a Jenny, is it? He's no, nah, he's under. That's a big Jenny. Two There's cod. two cod. Three cod. Look at this dumb shit. He's yeah. trying to get out. He's not real happy. We'll tip these out, put that pike troll back. Because there's not much bait left there. Yeah. There's a cooter. Makes you happy. Call it a barracuda. It's a cooter. <laughs> it's a bloody cooter. I've seen them in the canals in the Gold Coast, they look just like that now. It's a cooter. It's 100% cooter. If it catches crab, it's a cooter. If it doesn't, it's a pike. <laughs> All right. One more. Is it the lucky one? You fan of mud crab, Jake? No? Nah? One each. <laughs> Flip over that shit. Oh, is that a good crab in there? No, it's a big cod I saw. Two little guys. Three little guys. Yeah, let it drift back out. We'll put it in transfer. That would have been a legal cod, actually, to be fair. Yeah, just more around on that corner edge. No. Then it's like a yeah, it's like a trap technically. I'm all for that. We got crab. Oh, <laughs> we got the crab. What we should do is go home, eat mud crab, and come out throwing a cast net for a couple of hours, catching more bait for tomorrow. Wouldn't be hard, eh? It would not be hard. I bet better pulls at home. 